Hi, I'm Steve and I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 1988 Monaco Crown Royal 36 footer. All I gotta say is this is a beast of a motorhome, just a big huge thing. This is on a 21,000 pound Gillig chassis and that's a air brakes, air ride chassis and that's with a gas Chevrolet 454 engine. Uh, so just a big huge thing. The chassis would remind you of kind of like a Freightliner. Uh, looks very similar. The suspension components look similar for airbags. So let's take a look around it. Uh, we just got this RV and we're going to sell it as is. No warranty, no checkout or anything. So it's up to the future owner to check it out. But that's your opportunity to get something like this for a great price. We're going to put this on eBay. No reserve and the high bidder wins. Um, okay, I noticed three of the tires are dated uh, 2011, and they're um, so they're newer. The other three are mis mismatched brands; they don't look worn out. But so, like three of the tires are older, and they have a little bit of dry rot. The other three look newer. I would guess this coach has been sitting for a little while. So we did drive it, but I don't know how uh, you know long distance road worthy it is. But either way, um, it's up to the future owner to check it out. So uh, we didn't check the awning, but it's got a metal wrap awning. So those are nice and uh, usually they last the life of the coach. I noticed there's been a little bit of delamination in the sidewall and they ran a aluminum extrusion down the side to repair it. So uh, big mud flap. Everyone wants a big mud flap on their RV. This section right here, uh, there's a, a grill for this and it's inside. Uh, looks like there's a new muffler on the RV, so it sounds good. This probably could need to be attached at the bottom. It's got a big hitch. So this RV has two air conditioners and a big uh, owning generator. So, and again, we haven't tested that stuff, but I would uh, suspect that everything worked two, three years ago, so it's probably a good chance you could get everything working. That's the back side of the fridge. Water heater, that's the furnace. Both front tires are new. Uh, when I drove this RV, you know, it did go straight down the road and nice and smooth. Uh, when I hit the brakes, I noticed it did a little bit of steering, but it wasn't really anything too weird. And it definitely, uh, it's like you could relax and just go straight down the road with it. It didn't wander around. All right, you got two big air horns and a spotlight, so good stuff. Uh, this front part of the fiberglass has got some cracks in it, probably just from heat sitting out in the sun. And I don't know if you can see in there with the camera, but the tread looks good and big old airbag and air brake style suspension. So it's real heavy duty setup. Okay, inside, the floor's been redone. This is that uh, rear grate or grill. Um, floor looks good though. Big giant comfy seats. It's all electric seats. This thing has jacks. It has a park gear. Uh, this is BYOR. Let's bring your old radio. It's got a backup camera. Again, none of this stuff has been tested, but um, you can uh, check it out for yourself. Definitely a big, cool motorhome, though. Oh, yeah, it's got about 71,000 miles on it. Just under 71. All right, this really, in its day, was just top of the line. All of the woodwork in here is real oak. So on a typical modern coach, you know, they do oak fronts or whatever kind of wood, and then the styles and rails are just vinyl wrapped press board or, or pine. So that's really just all furniture grade cabinetry in here, all kinds of storage, uh, two airs, like I said before, big stainless steel sink, residential convection microwave. Oh yeah, and right here, I don't know if the camera can see it, but this is the spot where you can start the generator and everything. It shows 745 hours on the generator. 
Now this may seem odd, but I never, I've seen tons of these older coaches come through here over the years and they never have their blender. You know, the cheap plastic blender is always missing. So that's a good sign on this one. You can mix up some drinks. Um, fridge, I open up the fridge, you know, uh, it does look a wee bit dirty in there. And it looks like something leaked out the fridge and all over this cabinet. So, uh, just so you know. Um, in the back, in the bedroom, there's a walk around queen bed. And none of our other RVs come with a teddy bear. So that is included in this RV. Uh, lots of big storage. There's the second air, all this oak cabinetry. And, um, then this is another item that you will not be charged extra for. That is the VCR and analog TV combo. All right, big closet here. Um, the uh, bathroom is all nice, you know, tile sink, porcelain toilet, big shower. The shower, um, I'm not sure how it opens. It looks dirty in there basically <laughs> just so you know i did notice some mouse poop in the coach too uh so anyway let's go take this rv for a drive all right i'm driving in the monaco we're going 55 miles an hour we're driving uh the engine the transmission all feel good um the brakes feel great the steering feels good it goes straight down the road but i noticed when you hit the brakes it wants to brake steer a little bit other than that uh seems like a good driving rv so whoever gets this coach is going to love it.